Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Danielle Naomi. If you'd like to see how I got my hair like this, just keep on watching. But before you begin, please go ahead and subscribe as well as to click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. This video though is going to be sponsored by BGM Girl Hair and it stands for Black Girl Magic. So you know anything Black Girl I support. So this wig is from their company. They sent me a 13 by four lace frontal wig in 150 density. It is in their texture deep wave, Mongolian deep wave. So it is a different type of deep wave. This is the deep wave I like. I don't usually do deep wave wigs, but I actually found myself actually liking this unit. And so here we are today. The wig was in 20 inches and 150 density. As you can tell by the title and by the looks of it, I did go ahead and cut this hair a bit. I trimmed off about four inches or so, and I just love the results of this. It's gorgeous, it's me, and if you'd like to see how I did that, just keep on watching. Before I leave you guys, the links for this wig and BGM Girl hair will be in the description box if you'd like to go ahead and purchase any of their products as well as this wig it will be in the description box as well as some coupon codes so definitely go ahead and check it out it is the place to be before or after this video if you'd like to buy it off rip or if you'd like to wait until the end of the video i would definitely recommend it the wig is gorgeous it's full and the texture it's the texture for me sis because i just love this hair it's it's really to die for and i feel like when it's dried down some more i'm gonna be even more in love with it but yeah without further ado just go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video i showed you how i did the baby hairs i showed you how i cut it and i just pretty much just showed you how i spruced it up in the end nothing too crazy but all in all 10 out of 10 for this hair definitely recommend this unit and yeah let me stop rambling and get on with the rest of the video so before we begin i'm gonna just show you guys this is how your box will come it's gonna say bgm girl hair black girl magic and in the box you'll have your essentials some lashes and your other essentials some wig caps and honestly when i use wig caps guys i just like throw them in a drawer and whenever i need a new one then i'll take it out but i'm gonna just do this glueless portion it's gonna be really quick easy and simple and your home girl did get a re-up on some got to be glue gel and i'm gonna just say that in like the next two videos that i upload because y'all just need to know i just finished the middle portion of the swoops and this wig is 100 percent glueless so it's not glued down you can lift and move it uh since i have the got to be glue gel down i'm going to go ahead and start using my blow dryer on cool and just setting the baby hairs in place whatever you do for one side you're going to definitely do for the other so these swoops honestly are like so easy to do once you've cut your baby hairs like pre-cut them before you put the wig on 
and that's something I like to do. I like to like separate them, pre-cut and just work the hot comb and the freeze spray into the hairline portion. I just get the baby hairs that I need and it's just way easier to install for me like that instead of putting it on and trying to separate the baby hairs from the hairline and a whole bunch of yada 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 like it's just better for me the way how I like to do it and the way how I've been doing it this whole time I do definitely try to switch it up from time to time but I find that if you have a routine and something just works good for you then just do it and seeing that this hair is too long like the baby hair is too long I'm gonna just snip everything up a little bit and it just helps for the hairs to function and move better with the gel rather than to have something too long and it's just way too complicated to explain but just cut your baby hairs to however short you want them and you will not regret it that's just all i have to say i'm gonna just go ahead and clean the excess got to be glue gel off of my hands and it's a middle part it's curly it's not going anywhere and i am gonna go ahead and cut it into a bob i'm not gonna be doing the sides because hair is where it's gonna show so it's just easier it's quicker to install it's simpler and if you would like to just install it like this to just have a wig that you could wear on the go you could take off you could put back on this is how you install it and this is just what works for me this is their 20 inch mongolian deep wave hair i like it but i just want it to be a bit shorter and I'm thinking of doing a bob, not something here, uh, something about here. So I'm just gonna cut off pretty much like three or four inches off of it. So it will now be 16 inches, oh my God. So pretty much to how the front is because the front is, the frontal portion is usually layered. So it's shorter than the back pieces. So I'm gonna just cut it to the length of how long the front is. And this is like really easy and simple. I have done so many bobs and I just feel like it's just a cuter alternative because when you're wearing scarves, you don't want nothing creasing up your hair and your hair just won't be creased when it's short. And I like it like this, so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the other side real quick. And boom just like this it'll be easier to dry it's way more fuller in the end and i appreciate this length it's not too long it's not too short and it's not too thick either and yeah i like this if you like this the links for this wig will be in the description box for you to go ahead and purchase i'm really liking this right now girl i think i just did some i like it it's just it's me this is how i cut any bob this is the length that i cut any bob that i usually wear and i love this i love the look i know that if i were to like flip it into a side part it would be really cute so this wig is really nice and versatile so it's better like this in the fall time because it's quicker to dry so you won't catch no colds or anything and once you out the door and the cold hit it it's gonna dry like almost instantly i love the curl pattern the texture is really gorgeous and it's it's a look so 
I think that's all for today. If you'd like to purchase this unit, the links will be in the description box for you to do so. Thank you so much, BGM Girl, for sending me this gorgeous wig. I love it. And I will leave the links for the wig in the description box as well as their website. So without further ado, I'll see you all in my next one.